I don't really like the feeling of talking to myself like this. Not when I'm actually focused on it. When I'm listening to the words I'm saying. When I try to actually think about what words to say. I can never get the right ones. <laughs> because I know what I want to say. Or at least I know how I want to convey it. But when I try to find the right words and the right order to put them in, it all ends up feeling more wrong than if I didn't try at all. But maybe that's how this all works, huh? Maybe I'm not supposed to find the right words right now. Maybe I just say the wrong words and get them out there and let them hang dead in the air until I can find the right ones. Like a game of hangman, except with more options. Too many goddamn options. And yet, after all this time, I still haven't found the right ones. Knowing you does about par for the course. He always had a way of getting me all confused and making my head spin until I wouldn't know up from down. You drove me head over heels for you, faster than I could have ever imagined anyone would be capable of. And I loved every second of it. Life was a whirlwind with you. All chaos and excitement and beauty. Living life next to you was exhilarating. And I adored every second of lightheaded dizziness that you gave me. After so long of feeling like that, I couldn't imagine letting you go. How could I picture a life without you? when you made everything so much better. But obviously, since I'm sitting here and spouting this emotional turmoil to the moon, it didn't work out. You know that, of course. But like I already said, I'm talking to the moon. So, yeah. It didn't really work out. Life just didn't let us stay together. We were so busy, and there weren't enough minutes in the hour or enough hours in the day. It seemed like we were always just barely not able to be together. You would be getting home just as I was leaving, and the other way around. It was so frustrating, but... I couldn't be mad at you. It's not like it was your fault that life and work and everything else was getting in our way. I was never mad at you about it. But I was mad about it. But who could I blame? There was nothing I could do but scream into the sky and get even more frustrated when the clouds just kept floating by without answering. As life does, it just keeps getting harder and harder for us to make time for each other. It even got more difficult to keep up with calls and texts. It hurt because I knew that I wasn't trying to ignore you. And you weren't trying to ignore me. But we couldn't help it. By the end of the day, we had so little energy that we couldn't have made time for each other, even if we tried. I just... It was so painful. Because I wanted to be able to give you all of me, you know? I wanted to be there 
for you. I wanted to share our lives and be together. But I didn't even have enough of myself to track to bed at night, let alone to give to you. But I still kept trying, no matter how much it hurt. And so did you. Through all of it, we kept trying, even as it got harder. But eventually, we had to face reality and admit that it just... It just wasn't going to work, no matter what we did. And even though it was painful, we had to face the music and go our separate ways. After we broke up, I was heartbroken. Obviously, I mean, both of us were. But it was what we needed to do. It was what needed to happen. We weren't going to last. And it was time to just pull the arrows out of our ankles so we could both heal. Of course we bled and wept and ached. That was bound to happen when we were nursing our wounded hearts. But it was hard to heal. To get on with my life. When I turned and wanted you at my side, you weren't there. And I just had to live with that. It hurt at first. It hurt for a long time. There were some days when it still hurts. But overall, I think I'm doing pretty good. But I just... I wish there was some way I could tell you that even though I've moved on and I'm doing good, you will always have some part of my heart. Even though I might find someone else, you'll always have some part of my life that knows you. Is it selfish for me to hope that I'm the same for you? That I hope that you will always have some love for me, even if it's just for what we were? <laughs> it probably is. But more than anything else, I hope that you're doing well. I hope that you're happy. I hope you've moved on and... Maybe that you'd even found someone else. Someone who can give you more of themselves than I can. I hope they love you like you deserve. And I hope you love them back. I hope life is kinder to you than it was to us. And I hope you find the love you need to survive when it's cruel. I hope you know that I'll always love you, even if it's not the same way I did before. But then again, I'm just talking to the moon, so... <laughs> <laughs>